Hi there, Amit here for Phone Radar and today we are going to talk about the 5 most important news of the day. So let's get started. Starting off with Twitter India, they have launched a lighter version for Twitter primarily for mobile users claiming that if people are on 3G, they would be able to access the web page and the tweets within 5 seconds and that's primarily for the developing countries and countries where they have very slow internet connections. Again, I don't think now India would be coming under this list because we now have Reliance Geo and uh, Airtel which is also competing with Geo and offering us 4G services at a very affordable pricing. So that means that we don't really uh, need the Twitter light version but ironically that was launched in India. And apart from that, they also mentioned that it would be offering you 70% of lower uh, data usage which is like 70% of data saved. And if you would like to try it out, you can just head over to the website called mobile.twitter.com. Moving on to the next important announcement is from Xiaomi. If you have seen the Galaxy S8 launch, Samsung had launched the updated version of the Samsung Gear 360 camera with a handlebar. Now Xiaomi has launched a similar product which is similar to this one but the best part is that it comes with 23.8 megapixel of dual camera on the front and the back which gives you a 7K resolution panoramic photo which is obviously going to be great but we can only know once we actually test it out so I'm trying to import one of this uh, camera and apart from it also shoots 3.5K videos which is not exactly 4K and that's what is the case with the Galaxy Gear 360 camera so and uh, talking about the pricing point it's priced around 16,000 rupees while this was priced around 350 dollars which comes around 21,000 rupees so almost similar price point which means that Xiaomi's product should be something better considering that their products are generally priced very aggressively uh, this clearly hints that this might be a premium product and we should be looking forward to that the third important news is that Google has finally announced the Play Music subscription in India earlier we had 7 days and 15 days trials but now we have 30 days of trial following which you will be charged 89 rupees for this service now that's very affordable I would say when comparing with the few other options apart from the Geo Music which is actually free uh, but apart from that we have Saman, we have Ghana and few other service products which offer around uh, a price band of 100 rupees while Bink is again free for uh, Airtel users. So the best offering from Google Play Music is that it has a very large uh, content library and the best part is let's say you play a music video and if it's not available on the library it would fetch the video from YouTube and play it without any ads. Again that's through a tweet which I had uh, asked to a friend and he had also confirmed that there won't be any ads. So that's something interesting and uh, it gives you access to millions of music uh, videos and audio songs on their content library. Moving on, the fourth very important news is that uh, the Delhi High Court has asked the OnePlus to stop the OnePlus 3T ads. In case you have not seen that, probably just refresh this video, you might be seeing the ad wherein there is a KBC style Amitabh Bachchan video where he asks his contestant which is the best smartphone uh, and uh, he mentions that the OnePlus 3T is the best smartphone but the problem here is that Sony has claimed a copyright infringement against this ad claiming that it is in the KVC game format and they don't have or they are not given exclusive rights to OnePlus for this specific ad but as of now even though this litigation is going on the ads are still going on and we can see them on YouTube and also on TV so let's see when this stops but as of now this seems that Finally, OnePlus is again hit another controversy and let's look forward to what comes as a result. And finally, the biggest news of this day. Now, according to strategy analysis, uh, Xiaomi has stopped these Indian smartphones uh, purchase intention with 26% of voting. Now, there was a small report and a survey done where they found that uh, most of the Indians generally uh, look forward or the preferred brand for them is Xiaomi. Following which, there is uh, Samsung and Apple at 12%, which is also not bad. And following this, we have OnePlus and Motorola and Lenovo at 6, 6, and 7%. Now, that's not that great. Again, uh, we see a lot of uh, noise done by OnePlus all over, saying that they have the best smartphone and whatever. But the problem with OnePlus is that they have only one product at a price of around 30 to 35,000 rupees and not something in the price segment of 15,000. But they did have the OnePlus X, but it's no more, right? So there's no uh, product available from OnePlus in the price point of 10 to 15,000 rupees which is where most of the purchase decisions happen considering that most of the users are still switching from the feature phone to a mid-range smartphone and that's why Xiaomi is hitting it good with the Redmi Note 3 then the Redmi Note 4 recently and then they also have the Redmi 4A and few other products lined up. So this was a quick video on the things which happened today, the most important news apart from a few random launches but I thought let me try to share them with you on a video format rather than sharing them on Twitter. Always you can always follow me on Twitter at Amit Pawani and uh, follow these tweets but if you like this video let me know in the comment section below if you think I should be sharing more of these videos I'll be uh, looking forward to your comments and then depending on the response I'll be continuing these videos. 
That's it for now. Goodbye and see you in the next video. Bye-bye.